Right, how are you guys doing? I hope you've had a fantastic day and you're ready to kick it with us today. We're gonna have a fantastic show. Welcome to Entertainment News right here on White Fair for TV. My name is Philine, that is at Philine Jin across all socials. And if you don't know what you're all about, if you've never watched us now, let me tell you all about gossip, Udaku Mshene. And guess what? We have the juiciest gossip uh, right here in Kenya. And of course, we bring you stories is just not in Kenya but even internationally as well now before we get started let's meet my co-host for today and he goes by the name Wangi. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Asante Zana Vilin, thank you so much for having me. It's always a good time. Ni wakati wa kaudaku, you know, kachai kale tunasemanga tunakapepetea. Kakapepetea. So don't go away. Stay mm -hmm. with us here. Kachai kana koja. Right. Yes. We're going to have a fantastic one tonight. I promise you that right now. The hashtag is white for updates. Get interactive with us. Start talking to us. We have a post on Facebook. Go comment below. If time allows it, after the show, I'm going to be sending some love your way. Tell us where you're watching from, right? Nasorigani ime kubamba. And just like that, we get started with our first story. Now, the internet was sent in a frenzy after Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett, confirmed her affair with August Olsina, calling her relationship to Olsina <laughs> An entanglement, right? Now, yeah. soon after that, a lot of people shared their opinion on their marriage, calling Will Smith a wimp for being in such a situation. Now, Kenyans were not left behind since a viral video was shared on Twitter of a drunken man who recorded himself outside a hotel waiting for his girlfriend to finish an intimate session with another man. Oh, yeah. Now, the Mercedes Benz driving man was on a weekend getaway with his girlfriend, but seems that the girl was more interested in the vacay. Then in him, we have a video. Hold up. Your drama cost you. But it's okay. Baby, I still love you. You have a history with this guy? It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Just. I'm so sorry for the drama I cost you. But it's okay. Baby. I still love you. You have a history with this guy? It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Just... Adi? <laughs> Dude! Buddha. Dude! Go on the festival! <laughs> okay. Let's yeah, let me calm down. Go to Kwanzaa. Go to Nitulia. Like... Wow, eh? Okay, let me just give you an example. Now, Dennis right here texts his girlfriend, Tuna Ivasha. Dem kufika uko anamge uka anatoka na meshti ya deno. Wana jua wa se nini wanafanya, but up uko tu wapo na sewa, baby, I still love you. Even though what you're doing is not right, but I still love you. And... Mbona, okay, I don't know. Like, that is so cringy to me. I don't know. What's your opinion? Okay, I don't know. I don't know, then I wake up boy child. What is happening? Man! Kunenda je, Buddha. What's up, man? You are not a man. In in your own class, driving a Mercedes Benz. Oh, he's also a lawyer. You are a lawyer? Yeah. Na uko na guts za kuchukua simu and you record yourself crying telling you kweni ni nini wako nayo wengine hawana surely brother don't do that bwana the ratio is even speaking for us ratio inatusaidia you here crying simply bwana watu wa subaru wanatesa huku nje wewe na kai brother you should know the things that people are doing out here na kama umechezwa hata wewe cheza you know now, but this is the kind of relationship August Olsina had with Jada Pinkett. Nona, August and Ajo Vizuri Sana, Jada is married to Will Smith. They are not getting a divorce. But you say you're in love, you've never loved anyone like that before. You're hoping she's going to leave her husband for you, which is not going to happen. It's the same entanglement. This entanglement is not going to happen. You know what you're saying? You know what you're saying? Na unajua ni pale si pengine lakini wewe unasema baby I still love you even if even if you are with someone 
Bado na kupenda. Jada, Jada amefika mahali ya kona saying apparently mm-hmm. that you don't let your husband stop you from finding the love of your life. <laughs> Please, guys. Guys. No more corona guys. But anyway, it's 2020. Women have been humiliated for so long. So, so women empowerment Ako, finally. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look at this gender saying about power. Any, But God, this gender that betrayed Jesus. Mnajua, this gender that betrayed Jesus. They've always unajua wametukalia for a long time now. Finally, women know their worth. You know like kumbe wanaua okay pia wanaweza cheat. <laughs> Anyway, but I'm not advocating for that. Please, I'm not advocating for cheating. Stay faithful, yes? Kwanza kuna corona, alafu kuna AIDS, alafu kuna there are so many many things. You can No, there's corona right now. Unajua this video is not at ya kitambo. Vile prezo alifungua hivi. Unasikia? Unasikia? This is mtai kabe was saying at mlikuwa mnasema freedom is coming. So freedom came. Watu wakaenda Vasha. You know me and my boys were going to Vasha. We're just going to chill on a weekend. Yeah, so you went chilled and then that happened. Akapatana na Subaru boys. Wewe uko na Mercedes, Subaru boys wakapatana na mtu chako. No worry. It happens. Vasha has its way. But anyway, like as much as it's fun and everything, I don't think that's right. Like come on. A dude he tried. And if you're going to cheat, at least don't cheat in front of his eyes, maze. At least cheat ileni asijue. But una cheat akiwa hapo. And you know this guy loves you. You lose someone like that, I am telling you it's going to be hard to find someone like that, especially with this the way things are going. <laughs> And this guy, feeling this guy doesn't even know that the fact that Sai bona demand yetu imepanda you should know it's not even about Our demand, demand it's about bona. finding a good man like the loves you and is stable and you know is a, is you are a disgrace no honestly unalia well, maybe a little bit unalia nini ni mimi hiyo inafanya ulie Now, let's move on to another story. The hashtag is Y254. Updates talk to me at Philip Jean and talk to him at Dennis underscore Bob Minor, right? Yeah. And we are on Facebook as Y254 channel. So go comment below. We have a post. Would love to hear from you. And we're going to pull some of your comments at the end of the show. But right now, about now, actually, we got to another story. And we're still on this gender. Dennis is talking about <laughs> these women, these eyes, these ladies, this these women. Gender. Now, in Russia, Russia. Now we cross over to another continent. We're in Russia now, where a 35-year-old social media influencer married her 20-year-old stepson after splitting from his father, who is 45 years old. Now Marina Balmasheva, who hails from uh, who hails from Russia, rather, lived with her uh, her ex-husband Ori and his son for more than 10 years. And after a decade-long marriage, Marina and Alexei decided to part ways. After the divorce, Mar- after the divorce rather, Maria found love in her 20-year-old uh, stepson Vladimir. Now, the couple had plans of getting married at the beginning of 2020, but their plans were delayed due to COVID-19. But the couple, however, finally tied the knot last week at a registrar's office. And that is the video right there. We actually have the video it's on, it's on TV right now. You guys can see that. Now, Marina posted and she said, "We <coughs> accept yeah congratulations and likes you did not endure uh, we did not endure until the evening and fail direct the video is ordinary on business we rode and drove to registry office there were no comps rings in the car but there was a good mood and embarrassment we are a uh, very some okay We are very some kind of lunatics on the video but like that the main thing for me is not how but for whom and for whom with whom in the evening I'll try to find in the photo uh, I'll try to find in the photo in the dress I declare as husband and wife we want it a little bit more elegant but in the evening you get you get Now they are married, mother and stepson, who is just 20 years old. And that begs the question, since you were married to the father, was she cheating on the father with the son before they made it official? Of course, of course. But there, Akuna, it's not a matter of was or if. What? It was, it was. There's no way you just divorce with the father mm-hmm. and now you move on to the son. And 
I'm sorry to say but this gender man. <laughs> you know you say that. Can you say that? Why don't you say the way the, the son and the father? Come on. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Put it in another way. So Let's you make it sound so wrong. So the son and the father. You took the father and the son in a hymn. This gender is due to our idea. Usually, 10 years, you stay with a man. He has a son. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming by that time the son was 10. Because the son is now 20. Yeah. Was 10. No, by the time they actually got together, the son was 7. 7? Yeah. <laughs> not because of menyamenioa but 17 years later akajua akasema hapa Nangoja 17 years. No, it's actually 13. Yeah, like 13, what, yeah, 13, 13 years. Can yeah. you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> Mutu. This it, gen, I don't even know what to say, but imagine if this was an African setting. Nini nge happen? Ichieni. Hey. It, it was it, 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 Chira. Ch- chira. Yeah, chira. It's actually called Chira. It's Father and son. No, actually, that's a no. no. I, I understand like people take it like to the next level, but I feel like this is too much. But I kind of feel like I should blame the dad. But you know, it's actually something that is happening. It's just that people don't put it on social media. But we've had stories. <laughs> mtu, well, like you, even we actually did a story right here on set when uh, like this son was going to marry Budaka Kono and Demakasemi. You know what? No, I, I like this one. So when it, when the reverse know. happens, it's okay. You, when you your know, dad takes you. you know, when you your dad takes your girl, it's because fine. Because the man, the man, the man, we are allowed, we are, allowed, we are polygamous in nature. The villa two society sometimes judges us in different <laughs> ways. But look at it in this angle. Pipi, kai, yami pipi, pipi yako, anakuacha, anawa mtoto wako. I know, right? The problem is that. Father. I know. Now let that sink <laughs> in. As you do that, we're gonna move on to the Come next on, story. The hashtag is Y254 updates. Now, former <laughs> Churchill show. Actually, these are very sad story, right? Yeah. Now, former Churchill show comedian Wakimani came out to speak his truth during an interview with Jalars. Now, in the interview, the comedian talked uh, talked and confirmed that <laughs> the late comedian Ayaya's family accused him of killing the latter since he was one behind the wheels when the tragic accident happened. He said, and I quote, after the accident, we buried Ayaya and I thought everyone understood that it was an accident. However, after a week or two, Ayaya's wife contacted me and uh, told me that she had a letter addressed to me. He added, in the letter, Wakimani was accused of being responsible for late comics death and instructed to pay 21 million shillings as compensation. According to the letter, a calculation was drafted that concluded that Ayaya was earning 300,000 per month and given that he was 31 years, that would mean he would have retired at the age of 55. So that means he uh, uh, that means he would have made 21 million uh, Kenyan shillings by the time he was retiring. Wow. Like, have some zote. respect for the dead. No, honestly, why do parents have to do this? No, it's benefiting. not parents, it's Ayea's wife. No, when you are talk about it. Ayea's wife. No. It was calculated by the family. Yeah. It came from the family. Right. Why do people stand to benefit when people, other people are in pain? Mm-hmm. This guy, Wakimani, ali kuoko Yeah, and, and he was actually ke-ake. depressed. And he actually also lost his job. And the funny guy. thing, it's not like Wakimani was driving, like on an accident, akatoka, akangusha gari, gari, kanguka peke yake. Yeah. He was there, he was hurt. I understand he was actually hospitalized for some time right. too. Honestly, how does this happen? And then later on, you think that we are on the same boat. We are here agonizing and uh, no, I need to add to cop a sorrow mood, tuna 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 umboleza, tume poteza rafiki, you people have lost a family, and then all of a sudden you serve me with a letter demanding twenty one million. Twenty one million. And Actually, he was actually saying, Aksema, Mrs. You are, yeah. You know, they made it look like he did it on purpose. Exactly. Like, how do you, if we're in the same car, how do I kill you and make sure that I survive? You it's know, not like, even I don't possible. Know. But he said he's actually, like, really depressed, but he says he's going to get himself out of it. But he's been depressed. He's been dealing with a lot. And I think the case is ongoing. It's still in court. So, 
Let's just see what's going to happen. But okay, okay, if you ask me, I think, I don't know, an accident is an accident. Exactly. And uh, if it happened, it's just an accident. There's nothing more he could have done. Come on, get Kuana Wezong himself. I'm sure he would have done that. Okay, uh, what, money, what? brother. I, yeah. I honestly feel for you. Right. Because at this point, he's, he's actually turned out to be the strong one. Yeah. He's the one that, one, he was left without a friend. Mm. I'm sure he was left jobless. Mm -hmm. He had to be left with the hospital bills. You know, kuna vitu mingi tu waliwachiwa. And then you also served with a letter. Brother, whatever you have been going through, I can imagine it's painful, yeah. it's hard, and I'm happy that you have talked about it. Right. That's the first step to healing. Yeah, exactly. That's Just the first speaking step. Speaking about it. Yes. And it, it's quite unfortunate, but we're going to move on to the next story. Now, <laughs> all right, now, social media users were shocked when celebrity couple girls Frank Jimit and Maureen Waititu broke up <coughs> last year. Now, recently, Frank and socialite Kwamboka confirmed that yet they are expecting a child together, and that's how the whole drama started. His ex, Maureen, accused him of being a deadbeat father, and this is what Frank said in response. And I quote, he said, let me just be candid. I sent 6,000 for my children every week. I also take care of my son Lex's school fees at Montessori which is about 150,000. The arrangements I have right now is that my mom helps me pay the school fees. My children have two nannies, well at least they did until recently and baby mama and I have an agreement on how to pay the two nannies. I pay a certain amount, she pays the other amount. So I really want to ask you to think, uh, like uh, do you really think about, do you think about what a deadbeat parent means because I definitely take care of my children. He also added that his kids live in a house his mom gifted him so there is no rent involved but just service fee. But anyway, so Frank, uh, Maureen said, right, yeah, so Maureen said that uh, Frank was a date with dad. But anyway, he's gonna be a father again. Frank now and come on in the India and Father Abraham, we see you. <laughs> but anyway, so congratulations to the both of them. When they posted this photo right here, Frank uh he posted happy and hashtag blessings, right? And then Michelle Dalami said uh beautiful Mlamwa, hey Mlamwa, Akasema more blessings, bro. With one duck commented Akasema congratulations, yes. So congratulations to the two of them. And then uh, who else? We actually have, oh, Chris Kirwa. Um, you know, uh, the, he just used emojis. Strong Buddha, strong. strong. Uh, Ile, uh, fire, fire emoji as well. And then uh, MC Lisa Nyango, Kasama Ish, you know. But she looks good pregnant anyway. Karazan looks good. Frank looks happy. Anyway, so in a detailed info, he did a vlog. He vlogged about it and he said that um, he was at a very dark place. He was in so much pain. He didn't know when the pain was going to go away. He was having attacks. You know, I don't know if you've ever had anxiety, but when you have anxiety, you have a lot of panic attacks. So he said he will have panic attacks in his sleep just because of the pain. But Corazon is the one who helped him get through the pain. And now he's so happy. Like he's happier than he's never, be he's never been in a long time. You get? <laughs> but now Maureen was like, okay, 6k a week like ask him when was the last time he took the children maybe outing but they, you know parenting is just more than like material things no. that's number one no. okay let me just say this no. i'm going to maureen no. yeah so parenting you have to spend uh -uh. time with your kids yes that's number one number two you have to also buy them stuff you don't just like send 6k and assume they are fine okay so that is according to Maureen because it takes a lot because some people are actually attacking her. But I think like people should just leave them alone to find a way to deal with this. What do you have to say? Philip, 6,000 a week. Unatumia mutu ambaye ako na mshara yake, ako na maisha yake, umempatia nyumba. Mtu unakupea nyumba Nairobi, analipia watoto shule, Montessori. You know? Feeling these things, let's. I'm just going to classify Maureen as a jealous ex. Wow, Simple. wow, you're just a jealous ex, and it's the reality. And to not do a mukoeng, you kuinje. 
Men become successful um, simply because you are, maybe you are actually the reason as to why he was not successful. And all of a sudden, through another lady, because wacha ni kuambie. Mwanaume kwa hii maisha, ni wadogo sana wame make it bila mde maali ya na msupport. Jusisi ya tukuna vitu watu wezaki kufanya. We, we agree. So when a lady comes into your life and a life becomes easy, look at that guy, he was hurting. Kurazon came through. Yama, Peter Nile, you know, it's, it's your happiness, brother. So all of a sudden, our heart, this gender does not ever want to see us happy. Kidogi dogo, mimi nime post Instagram, you know, nimeeka hiyo ngumi ya meona hii mukono amejua. Eh, hii mukono kurazona na chazanga nayo kila siku. Ameanza ma feelings. Really? Wow. Really? I don't think that's true at really? all. I think she's... Okay, anyway, Jalas, Jalas told Maureen to move on and she was like, you know what? I actually agree with that. So she's gonna move on. Yes. But whatever, however you decide to handle it, I pray that it's just gonna... Like, I'm just like uh, hoping it's gonna be amicable so that we don't see this back and forth because at the end of the day, it involves children and people that hurt most in these situations are kids. Because if you Maria say me, when you were talking, or, or something like that it's the kids who are gonna get affected so i hope that you guys sort out your issues but i'm rooting for you maureen yeah you know i'm rooting for you girl power right no <laughs> all right the now kids are let's go get on to Stop being the selfish. next story Sindio, because of time let's do this let's do this story yeah let's do this story the hashtag is white before updates now a barber shop named gillette uh, near nairobi's junction mall has gone <laughs> viral after a photo they posted on their instagram page now in the photo a skimply dressed attendant and is seen giving a head massage to a client but that's not what caught the attention of most kenyans some kenyan men on social media were asking for directions to the barbershop so as to attend to be attended to rather by the now viral curvaceous lady yes so these are the gender these are the gender you see a photo like that and now all men want to go to that <laughs> all men want to go to that barbershop they're like Iko, you want me any? you want me give us direction <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why they want to go there, Philip? Do you know why they want to go there? Okay, tell me Who's why. Who's on the agenda? He ain't going to go to the agenda. He's going to go to the agenda. So, look at that no, guy. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Ladies, the guys at home, yeah, the guys who are watching at home, ladies, I want you to be very, very sincere with me and tell me, would you allow your man to go to that salon, would you? Mimi, I forgot to kind of, Mimi, I'm going to massage the kitchen, but anyway, let's see right here. Uh, there's, there's someone else on it, uh, Acidic. Acidic, I, he tagged his friends and he's like, gentlemen, shall we? You know, you know who's used to say that? You, you, you're your original, <laughs> Elijah, yeah? That, shall we? Shall we? And, uh, and someone else says, I can't believe who could happen to Kuenu, now you've never told me about it. <laughs> Guys, Daniel Nahisa, and I said, I'm and this is like, this is the place. Twende. Uh, Zane poet and asma na kuja kunyoa huko. Oh, you know, and you know, now, now they are viral. Clients are coming through. You know, they fresh and asma just found my new baba from now. <laughs> it's Juma Juma and asma muna semaje. And you are just tagging. Ula tag mogi yako. Uko mazee uku siendi solo. Kuja ni twende. Kuja kwende. Kaende, kaende, kaende. Ladies, would you let your man go to the, to a place like that, knowing that what they are going to do there? Lucky says that we need them to more. Yeah. Now and how many when give? What is wrong? Filin, what's any problem? This gender, this gender does not. This gender that betrayed Jesus. Of Kiriangi na kichwa. This other gender that watch a two be two. Lucky me, Filin, watch any problem. All right. Why are you people jealous when we go there? And first things first, I will blame these men that tell their women where they are shaved. <laughs> yeah. Hapo, you, you don't mm -hmm. you don't say where you're going to be shaved monomo unasemanga nafika hapa kwa duka unaenda ukie you come back happy aje umepitia happy so when when you see us going through something tunaenda tunapigwa massage sio kupenda filin right. sasa zingine lazima tu stress tu tu stress you know ugi alafu hii ni kumassajiwa peke yake hatoki hapa na namba habebi huyo dem ni nini Watch any. Oh, by the way, I have an announcement. Yes. Uh, fellow men out there, follow me at Dennis Bob Miner and uh, Nenda Kufungua Kinyozi. Pure. <laughs>
for ladies. <laughs> ni ya madem. Peki yake. Hey. Kutoka mwanzo hadi mwisho ni madem. Hata mimi mwenyewe sasa kuja. Mimi ndio sasa sera online one. But marketing hi did you did you hear <laughs> Anyway, 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 so before we take our last, uh, our, our last remarks, hey, there are so many people, exclusive barbershop, or color, oh. what, all right, now, these are the guys who, this is the barbershop I want you guys to Baba go ben to, ben. let's hear, what's the word, Kalao, and then you have a Baba Ben Ben, exclusive barbershop, all color, they are watching, no, to 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 four, two, five, four. so make sure, Mwende Mnyole Oko, right, and then you have Kabif Ramadana, so my K-Town Logs, shout out to K-Town, I'm going to get into a Jinchi, is babalao and as my kiambamba mranga ndani gotea my love jennifer akiwa maranjao and jennifer jennifer umesalimiwa by the way and then you have suzy ndego wakikuyo and as my two did from kiamba kiamba kiambu county shout out to suzy thank you so much eman james hi right now as we do that <laughs> oh, I have someone else, Omsiani Omnyole Joel, that's his name, and it's my watching Adi. from Esunza Bunyore, Jamaican City. Oh. Right, what are your last remarks and who do you want to shout out as we take the last comments right here? Yes, um, fellow friends out there, it's always a good time. Right. Oh, to me, pick a point flani in life and uh, in, as a country, Mali Tunambua, by the way, may the best immunity win, the Mwile Inaweza Iweze, so tafadhali, manze tu kuetu janja. And uh, allow me to big up my crew back at home, Akina Moas, Jishi Amta. You people are always the best. And Nashkuru uh, Sana, Dennis Pomaina is always my social media handles. Follow me, follow me. Nashkuru Sana. Manze, tuna grow. Right. Tuna grow. We're growing. We're tuna growing. Grow. Baby steps. Baby yeah, steps, right? Baby. Now, can I just like mention names? The guys who are, on, uh, are right here. Eman Jem, shout out to you. I can see County 001. I have Mama Dominican Sa. Jere. I have. Slevia Nokuku, Madam B, Bede Asli, thank you so much. Right, and then I have some other people on uh, WhatsApp. Mash, Mash, what bowels? I'm gonna watch your waistlands. Thank you so much. Esther, Pato, Roba, Linus, Ben, Hillary, thank you so much. We're gonna see you next week. <laughs>